Hi, welcome to Crafted Sweetly. I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. With this video, I wanted to show you how to do the photo strip, not just the regular way where you have the strips attached to the uh, edge of the page. And I've done a couple of other videos with options and projects doing it that way. But this is combining um, the traditional book folding with the photo book design. So this is the image that I'm using and I don't plan, I'm going to end up cutting this portion out of it. So I'm not going to use this part. I didn't want to edit the photo in case you're planning on doing this just as a regular photo strip book art. So I'll le I left this in the pattern, but you can omit this if you plan on doing it as a combi fold and I'll show you what I mean when I get to it. So this pattern will be in the Etsy shop if you're interested in it. Um, I have the strips already cut out like this. So I've cut the strips and also folded them. What I do is I'll cut the top off the strip on all of them and then cut up the strips and then fold them. But I leave the bottom part on just in case somebody knocks over my board I don't have to try and sort what goes over where so I leave the bottom on until I apply it to the page to apply the strips I use this type of um, tape runner you don't need much just stop at the bottom I used to add tape in the middle as well but it's not really necessary for this one there may be some additional spots that I end up adding tape so I have my strip that's already folded over I open it up a little bit and then I take one page and you can see it kind of slide like on a track and I'll move this up to the point where this is completely flush with the edge of the page so that's why I cut one side so that I can always line it up to the edge of the book this part I'll just cut off what's extra but if I leave both sides on it's going to make it harder to line things up properly so that way that's why I cut one edge and I know things will always line up and once you have it lined up I press that down make sure this butts up right into the page edge and then I press it down now at this point I will take scissors and then trim this off right at the edge of the page that goes off and now we go into you can leave it like this and you'll have your traditional photo book art but to turn it into a combi we have to fold along where the pattern is and I can't fold out in the middle so let's start with this part I usually will take my fingernail and place it right where I want the fold to happen because if I try and do this it won't go right but if I put my finger right in the spot then this will create the, the fold right where I need it and then I'll use the lines in the book as a guide to know exactly where I need it to turn so I folded it and then I'll press down this way if I'll show you in this part but if the, this is, doesn't look like it wants to stay down you can certainly add just a tiny dab of double sided tape and then that's not going to go anywhere. Now this part obviously we need to fold because we want to fold here and we want to fold there. In order to do that I'm going to cut right down the middle in between and as you can see this moves now a little bit so I am going to add just a little bit of tape right there so that it doesn't shift while I'm folding it. This part is too tiny so I'm not too concerned. Same thing I'm going to put my nail right where the fold what I want it to fold and then I'll fold over and I'll go use the lines as a guide. Now this I will add a little bit for sure on here just because I don't want it to shift and then same thing here I'll add just a tiny 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 dot and you want to press these to make sure that they're crisp and then same thing here this last one whoops I just want one page I picked up a couple pages 
and fold this in. And as you can see, I'm following the writing in the book to make sure that it folds straight. And then I use a bone folder to press down. So that's one page right there. And if I look at the pattern, it's actually these steps right here that are being created. Once I reach this point, I may have to do two additional cuts to it. And for tools that I'm using, I have and supplies, I have a description in the box below if you'd like uh, links to those. Next strip, I'll do another one here. And then, uh, whoops, not there. So top and bottom. And then I'll step away and do more pages. And then when I get to kind of a point that I need to show you some additional tips, I'll kind of check back in. So as you can see, this started the leaf right here. I'm going this way. So that's right here showing up already in the pattern. So that means I'm going to have to kind of cut that. I'll probably leave this part and cut it in. So let's see. We're going to, whoops, I'm not cutting. What am I doing? Um, let's do this one. That's a certain fold in right along the edge. So that part I'll probably, because it's so, it's such a tiny space, I think I'm going to leave those two alone. This part I'm cutting because I'm folding back. So some of these may be really tiny, almost like earmarks, just because you don't have much space to work with. So something like this, I'm gonna add a little bit of tape because I don't want it to kind of press against the other pages. And I think, oh, we missed the middle one. So we're doing another one here. So as you can see, this has more places. It's not, you know, some of the pictures where it's a solid, not so many um, starts and stops in between are going to be easier. That's why I'm going to actually cut this part out of the image. So this you won't see in the final design. And right there. So now we've got more um, folds in. Same thing, I'm gonna add just a little bit. Again, it's more just to secure it so things don't fall off. Okay, and that's what that looks like. Okay, so I'll continue adding. Um, I may check in kind of like at this point where I'll have here and a couple of additional cuts in this direction. At this point, I wanted to show you the progress so far with the book. And because this one also has the pages folded in, it's going to need a little more uh, pressing before it's finished or when it's finished so that the pages kind of stay closed. And you can see the combi fold right here and obviously at the bottom. And then these are the places where if I look at the pattern, it's this part that I've taken out. All right, so now I want it, I'm at the point where this part right here, I've already folded in to the book. So if I look at, let me see where the page is. You can see that some of the pattern is right here. I was not interested in using this in the book, but if you choose not to do a combi pattern, then you could, you would have the entire image, including that in your design. Now I'm right over here as the next strip which is this part so i just wanted to show you again the process for the next couple of pages here and i have my strips here make sure i have them in the right order 93 all right and i set it down just to kind of get an idea of where i want to make sure i have tape so it's right here because that's going to be and then this part and I do it a little longer than usual because there's going to be some area there that I'm cutting. So I'll put this on. Now 
Now you could have all your strips trimmed off at the bottom too, but I'm always afraid that I'll just get them all mixed up and it's not going to be worth the, the trouble. So um, now this is the point. This is all stuff that I'm not using. It's right here, this part. So this is what I want to fold it. And I've been adding tape on these tabs just to make sure that they stay shut. That's going to be an opening right there. And then this part. So just a little bit of tape to help keep the tab down. So again, I'm going to put my thumb, my nail right where, I mean, you could use a bone folder possibly, but you're kind of marking where it's going to fold. Otherwise it might go funny. So there and this one is right here. And then this I'm going to cut in. Actually, I'm going to leave it, even though I've put tape on it. I don't think it's... Let me see if I can kind of roll it off. Okay. Um, just because it's too tiny and I'm not really going to be able to create that tiny gap. So I'll leave that. 95 is the next one. And now, as you can see in my strip, there's the green area right here. And that's this part right here. So I want to kind of fold it right below the green. Okay, same thing. I'm going to add some tape. This is how far I'm going to fold it. And down here. So, nail. And then follow the lines in the book. And then same thing. It's going to be right here is what I want to fold it. And I'll do one more page here and then kind of proceed off camera with the rest of it. Where's my strip? I'll have to do a video next with some of my favorite tools for things. Um, I did one a while ago and some of the things I've changed up since then as far as like the double-sided tape and you know you kind of work on stuff and then discover that something else is better than what you were using before and i left my bone folder in the other room so using the handle of the scissors here to create a crisp fold right there okay so i'll take this from underneath here just to kind of show you and as you can see i've taken away the um stem that's up here okay so i'll press continue with the with some more of the book and then you know possibly check in at a little farther down but as you can see it's really coming together and it's beautiful you know sort of the way it's forming right around the image now if you're wondering where did this black line come from it's actually just the black line that's separating the strips. So when you cut the strips, um, I made this pattern using the photo book art app. And when you create it, the wine, the wine, the, when you create the pattern, the line is a little wide. So that's why you kind of have a, a little bit of black on um, each strip. And that's what's creating the, the design around it. Okay, but I think it's coming along really nicely, so I will continue and then um, kind of check in later. Okay, I wanted to pop in again for another uh, couple of pages here to show you. So I'm down to the last uh, 30 or so, let's see, maybe 40 strips. So just wanted to kind of go through a couple more pages and, you know, if you have any questions, please comment below. Again, this 
pattern was made using the photo book art app and if you haven't tried it out please uh, give it a try let me know if you have questions it's really easy to use and you do have the ink saver option on it so that makes it easier because you won't be using, be using as much ink This is kind of where it is so far, which is really awesome. Okay, but the uh, pattern's almost done, so um, I'll share with you shortly when it's all finished. And now for the big reveal, there's the finished design with the photo book art and the combi to it. Now this, a couple pages here that are at the end, I did add a little bit of double-sided tape just so they stay together like this versus it kind of opening since there's no support there. I thought I did. Yes, I did. Okay. This would work also if you had, you know, open spaces like this in the middle. You can cut areas in the middle and have it folded in just like here you know you could create an opening somewhere in the middle but pretty cool design um, if you have any questions please comment below now I just wanted to show you real quick on the image itself I know some of you may be doing the frog for the design and for that what I do is you would be cutting right down the middle here when you're folding the 90 degrees or not you will be cutting right down the middle here when you're doing this folding right here so any areas like this let me open it here where you need to create this opening so that you're kind of going around the image you would be cutting right down the middle so you don't want to cut against the image you're going to go right in the middle same here right in the middle Okay, so that way you're forming it around the picture. And that's what I did with this, is when I got, when I was working here, it was really, this is where it was being folded so that I could create, get this kind of out of the image. This would go here. I hope this video was helpful for your next combi pattern. If you have any questions, again, please comment below. You're welcome to join my Facebook group. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, I always try and come up with new ideas and new designs for the book or new techniques. So um, please hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I post the next video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next project.